Hello everybody, my name is Sleeping, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Picking up right where we left off, because no, I haven't slept yet. <laughs> Do I have a sneak function, or... Yeah, gotta be invisible. Okay. Still nothing out this way. Hmm. I see something up there. Not the building I'm supposed to go to, but it's a building. What are you? Dogweed and death cap, huh? Merchant. Rebellion. Lumos. Hmm. Near some sort of black pillar? Beatrice Green. Hello. Hello! Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Mm. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stalk so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. I should be going now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, lock yourself up. What's this? Ooh. Gold Dragon Eye Spectacles. Go ahead and put those on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks terrible, but... It is what it is. Looking for sort of burning stone. Accurate. Chimney out back. Lumos. Snipe that real quick. Lumos. On the inside, friend. You belong here. Yeah, 
back and we go. trapped in there. Every time someone pushes a button, you cast only one spell to create more candy. random stuff. I don't bother paying for anything. Okay then. Revelio. Floating pompons. Hmm. Interesting. Sadly, I can't buy anything, so kind of pointless. Rebellion. <laughs> Rebellion certainly never revealed the charm of life. Where did that student go? They just walked through a wall. I don't think that's the right kind of magic. <laughs> again.
Revelio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Ignore my weak glasses. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. Matilda Weasley? I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Yeah. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. Wow. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Mm, just these two for now. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Well, that's everything. Beast feeder, beast Better toilet. go and find Natty. Shopping station, dung composter. There were two large spell pots. I could spend like a thousand or the four hundred or just none of it. I feel like I've had enough hugs, me. <sighs> Oops. Uh, that was broken before I got here. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh no, something's happening.
willing to fight this thing. Oh, right there. Are we weakening him at all? Keep asking! We have to wear him down! Potato! Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? They're not very smart. So, it's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? No. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repairer. Lucky they didn't do more damage. I will see what he wants. Very nice. Repair it. <sighs> One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. No, I believe I saw the page floating. Ah, yeah. oh. Weird bird. Revelio. Talking about you.
Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Oh, you're Frankly, welcome. you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. I'm and as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Sure. I've already figured this much out. Hmm. I have enough for this one. Why not? What an extraordinary mm -hmm. introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Sure, Shall let's we go get a drink booms? together. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Give me a second to put back on my, uh... Actually, good stuff, because... 17 offense. Teen offense. Eight defense, twenty six defense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't have a new hat. Nope. Have any one handles? Nope. Don't have any mounts or broomstick shit either. And then challenges. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Mm -hmm. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. 
The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Mm. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Not the voice I would think for sure. the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Oh, time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Okay. We're gonna save there. Uh, settings. Save game. Oh, I'll go ahead and yeah, hold it. Over it. Three hours. 8.52 in the morning on February 7th. That's good enough. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll pick this up again after I wake up because it's time to sleep. I have to work tonight. Anyways, thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.